All right, everybody. In this video, I would like to discuss why Daisy is not a pyramid scheme. Uh, and this video is especially for those people who consider joining Daisy, for new people who want to join Daisy, uh, those people who do their research online. So they, they search for Daisy in Google and they might find some some negative articles about Daisy which is no surprise because uh, this is a huge uh, industry uh, not only the MLM industry but also this uh, negative press business because the business model of those people is pretty simple so they use big names you know big names like Daisy to to attract traffic to generate traffic to their websites and on those websites they will sell their own products or they will uh, place ad advertising on their websites and make money with that, right? And as you know, negative articles or negative press, negative news sells better, right? So keywords like scam, pyramid scheme, uh, Ponzi scheme, they, they uh, generate more traffic than uh, positive news, right? So that's why those people, they would use every big name uh, to write bad articles, to write negative articles about those businesses just to generate traffic. And they do it in a very smart way because they know how C, uh, SEO functions, they know how search engine optimization works. So they will optimize their articles to those keywords like scam, pyramid scheme, and Ponzi scheme, right? So in this video, I would like uh, to discuss what a pyramid scheme is and uh, wh whether or not Daisy is one of those schemes, right? So let's first uh, discuss the main characteristics of a financial pyramid or a scam project. Uh, so typically in those uh, Ponzi schemes, uh, the income that is paid to investors is coming from new investors so new investors pretty much pay the old investors so they pretty much recycle the funds right um, and typically in those schemes the founders have the complete control over the flow of money so they control everything that is comes in and everything that that gets out of the project and they can basically steal your funds. So there is a technical possibility that they can steal your funds. And the founders may also block members, right? So they may block leaders. So they may block members that uh, earn too much money, uh, that drains all the all the financials of that of that business. So they might just block them or assign uh specific referrals to themselves right so that so they don't have to pay too 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 many commissions right and they can deliberately bankrupt the project right so they make financial gains so they just close down before they have to to pay a big check right before they have to to do a big payout they just close down just to save that money right so this is one of the characteristics and then another one is uh, a project may claim unrealistic positive trades so if it's a trading business uh, with a referral program well it doesn't have to have a referral program but if it's a trading business and they post unrealistic gains un unrealistic positive trades this is this is a red flag uh, as well and then lack of transparency in the company's activities and financial transactions so if they are not open to to the investors to the members uh, as far as uh, the source of income as far as how they pay commissions uh, this is pretty much a red flag as well and then uh, uh, leaders of those uh, schemes typically present an overly positive picture of the situation uh, also concealing problems right so problems will be talked down and uh, yeah some positive potentially positive aspects will be just over over promoted 
so and then in difficult times the creators uh, attempt to recover at the expense of the participants new investments by using new shares issuing no, new tokens uh, and similar measures how many times have you seen a business launching one token and then the token uh, inflates and then they launch the next token and then the next token dumps and they launch a third token right I mean w there is there is a one there's one specific example uh, in the industry right now where a business is trying to do that all right so those are the main characteristics of a financial pyramid scheme uh, and uh, before we talk about uh, what whether or not Daisy is a pyramid scheme let's 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 basically discuss what daisy is right so daisy is a decentralized equity crowdfunding project on the blockchain 100 percent built on the smart contract and currently uh, daisy is crowdfunding endotech endotech is a fintech company that has been on the market for 12 years that uh, does algo trading using artificial intelligence okay so let's discuss why daisy is not a financial pyramid or a scam project so the first item is uh, daisy does not rely on mandatory mandatory recruitment of new members so you don't have to uh, recruit so recruitment is not needed to generate profits so and everyone can join daisy with any amount from $200 to uh, the biggest tier is $51,000 and can withdraw profits and does not have to invite anyone. So you get passive income even if you don't in invite a single soul, right? So you don't have to invite to, to earn passive income. All funds are managed through smart contracts ensuring automatic distribution to endotech trading dep deposits crowdfunding ai and client network development so there is a smart contract there is many smart contracts behind and they make sure everything is distributed automatically and everything is transparent uh, on the blockchain the founders have no control over the participants funds so since the smart contract is being used there is no way the founders can access the funds because those funds are being distributed automatically according to the rules that were set up at the beginning and those rules cannot be changed since this is a smart contract and all the transactions can be verified on the TronScan website so TronScan is the blockchain explorer of the Tron blockchain so you can see all the transactions on the blockchain everything what that is happening inside of daisy can be verified on TronScan. and unlike financial pyramids daisy is not obligated to pay a fixed amount regularly so uh, typically you will see those um, daily roi schemes uh, that uh, promise you one percent two percent sometimes three percent a day and and they have to pay those fixed percentages to you every day uh, because if if they don't uh, they they pretty much fail right they, they turn out to be a scam but with Daisy if there is no profits there is no payments right so the project only generates profits from successful trades if there is no successful trades you get nothing and endotech earns commissions or earns uh, a so-called performance fee so whenever members make money endotech gets 15 percent so endotech has an is has a high interest in uh, daisy members being profitable because only if daisy members make money endotech makes money right so they're very interested in having successful trades uh, and uh, yeah that's why they work hard to improve the algorithms to make sure there is positive trades but not every day is profitable um, 
all transactions are immutable. As I mentioned, uh, it's all transactions are managed by the smart contract on the Tron blockchain, and the entire transaction history can be uh, verified and it's visible and can be tracked on the TronScan website. So, and all the network participants have simultaneous access to the same information, right? So if someone claims, uh, I received this and this amount, and you know his or her uh, Tron address, you can verify that. So there's no way that person can lie to you. And uh, yeah, nothing can be hidden uh, on the blockchain. So um, this is as far as transparency. And then the next item is uh, the blockchain is 100% reliable. So uh, all transactions and statistics are visible in the DAISY personal account and every hour uh, up-to-date data is received from the accounts of the exchanges. And even if the, the synchronization between the front end and the back end is, uh, is lagging or not working, you can still go to the blockchain and see the, the original data, right? So, and this is the power of the blockchain. And then, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, the entire system, DAISY and Endotech, works using smart contracts uh, and they cannot be changed. And money management is carried out in real time using more than 10 uh, proxy smart contracts connected to each other. Since this is a complex uh, system, uh, there is many contracts working in, in, the in the background. And yeah, all the transactions can be tracked in real time. And this is how the whole uh, system works. So on the left hand side, you see the personal wallets of all the DAISY members. So those DAISY members contribute to DAISY uh, and everything is uh, is visible on, the tr on TronScan. And then this money from uh, from this Daisy, uh, from 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 the Daisy package, from the from the Daisy tier, uh, will be distributed uh, into trading, into uh, uh, the AI development, into crowdfunding, and into the compensation plan, into marketing. And once positive trades are generated, uh, the money comes back to uh, the contributor, right? So. Um, and um, the founders of DAISY, they don't hide the fact that there is also unprofitable months. And this is especially true for um, crypto trading. So, so Forex trading has been very stable so far, uh, but, but nobody, none of the founders guarantee that it will stay like that. So, so the last 11 months were uh, positive, but there is no guarantee the next months will all be positive, right? But in crypto, we see a lot of volatility, and I will show you that in the next slide. Uh, but there might be negative months, weeks, days, and uh, negative trades are not being hidden, right? So uh, Daisy pays out profits from trading, and even if the founders decide that no more uh, packages can be purchased, so no, no new accounts can be opened, participants will still receive uh, profits for months and years. So, and uh, DAISY is migrating to a hedge fund uh, end of May, uh, actually on the 1st of June, and the old model uh, will not allow new contributions but it will still pay residual commissions and it will still pay uh, trading rewards, right? I mean, a uh, Ponzi scheme, if there is no new fresh investments, it will just collapse, right? And DAISY doesn't rely on new investments. If DAISY loses momentum as far as new contributions, it can still sustain and it will still pay out uh, trading rewards because there is real trading uh, behind behind DAISY. And uh, if you look at the back office, uh, so, so Forex has been uh, very stable, as I mentioned, with 4.4% on uh, on, uh, in average per week for, for, for the last 11 months. 
but crypto is is volatile and there is a lot of uh, upside potential well it's it's volatile but there is a lot of upside potential and uh, if, if there is negative trades everything will be shown in the back office right because if a uh, Ponzi will show negative profits what will happen people uh, will stop uh, investing and this the scheme will lose momentum and the new investments will will dry out and uh, yeah old members cannot cannot be paid out anymore right but uh, in Daisy even if the momentum goes down because of a bad month uh, the business can still sustain all right well before I uh, wrap up uh, just a disclaimer Daisy is not an investment project it's a crowdfunding to raise funds for the development of AI 2.0 developed by Endotech and individuals can participate in crowdfunding and in case of successful trading they receive a reward and trading is a, is a high risk high return opportunity so don't invest money you cannot afford losing and past performance does, doesn't guarantee future results. Thanks for watching. Bye.